Deadpool stars Ryan Reynolds as the Merc with the Mouth and is directed by Tim Miller who is a first time director. Pretty amazing for your first film to be Deadpool. Fans want to see this movie, you better do it good. This film also stars TJ Miller and a couple X-Men people, a girl and a villain and this film was, it was really good. I, was, I had a lot of fun with this film. Um, it's a typical origin story I would say for a superhero. I mean it has its cliches of man loves girl, girl gets taken from man, he has to fight bad people to get the girl back. I mean we've seen these things before. What makes Deadpool really work is that it embraces these cliches. It knows that it's a cliche origin story. Deadpool even tells us that this is going to be like a cliche origin story and with that I really like Deadpool because they knew what it wanted to be, they wanted it to be a cliche origin story, yet they had a lot of fun with it. And with looking back on a lot of origin stories, yet yeah, it's the same, but when I want to watch origin story, Deadpool is up there because of its originality in telling an origin story. Now I've seen a lot of advertising and marketing for this film, the trailers, the, the marketing was terrific for this film and makes me want to see it even more. But with seeing a lot of the advertisement and the marketing and the trailers, we kind of got used to Deadpool's sense of humor. And watching Deadpool, I, there was a lot of jokes that I've, we've already seen previously or jokes that we maybe see coming because we know the character of Deadpool and how he interacts with people, how his personality is, and to be honest, I know people are going to you know question me a little or maybe dislike this video, but I didn't laugh a lot. I laughed here and there, I chuckled here and there. There was nothing where I was bent over my seat laughing, you know, gasping for air. None of that was in here. Does that make me enjoy the film less? No, it may, I honestly look at it like I really know the character Deadpool. Because I know how his jokes are, I know how he's going to be, I know his personality. We've seen Deadpool a lot over the internet. They've been cramming this advertisement and marketing down our throat, so we I really know who Deadpool is, and for that, I know how the jokes are going to be. I know what the jokes are going to be on, what like subject he's going to handle. I just didn't laugh a lot like I thought I was going to do, but I still really enjoyed this film. I don't know if that makes sense to you guys, makes sense in my head, but that's just how I felt. I still really enjoyed this film. It was gory, the action was handled really well, had a great soundtrack, a great cast for its uh, characters. And the one thing I absolutely loved about this film is that it broke the fourth wall and like is this film even like in a superhero universe or is it like set in real life because he makes jokes about you know Ryan Reynolds or Professor X, real people. and. It's really funny that he breaks the fourth wall and tells us these things about the X-Men or himself, the directors, and all these different things that I think what makes Deadpool the character really work is that there's this fourth wall and he just smashes it down like no other. Watching this film, it makes me think, watching the opening credits, the end, and throughout, they literally have no care in the world. Yeah, they want to make a great film, you know, tell a great story, yada yada yada, but with other subjects, they literally do not care what happens. I mean, I mean the opening credits, watch the movie, go back and watch the opening credits, they do not care at all what happens. They, amazing opening credits, probably the best opening credits I've ever seen in my life, but they do not care what goes on. And that's a good thing. So Deadpool, I thought, had some scenes that were funny. Um, the jokes did work, but like I said, it's just uh, jokes that as we're watching Deadpool over and over again throughout the years or reading his comics or seeing his marketing, fan pages on Facebook, we know what his jokes are like and watching them on screen, um, a lot of them were funny. Um, nothing was not funny in this film, it was just, I don't know, like... I got used to the character Deadpool. It's like going to see a new Marvel film and having no expectations because you know you're going to come out and it's going to be good. That's how I felt about Avengers 2. So I'm going to go ahead and give Deadpool an A. I love Deadpool. I'm going to go see it again really soon. I know people have been loving this film and it makes me so happy that people really liked it. It was R rated. It was bloody. It was gory. It did not have a care in the world. It made a lot of money. And I can't wait to see a sequel and see what they do with some other characters like they announced at the end of the credits. 
So check that out. So let's just watch movies. Give this video a thumbs up and subscribe. Just watch movies for upcoming movie reviews. And you stay classy, YouTube.